In today's video, you will learn how to animate a bouncing text logo animation in After Effects. Also, you will learn how to prepare a text logo in Illustrator. Before moving forward, I'd like to inform you that you can download this project file via the link in the description below. You can also join me on Patreon to get premium After Effects tutorials. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start by creating a logo in Illustrator. Right now, you can see there is a text called Bounce. And for your reference, I'm using this font. Because this font is rounded and perfect for our animation. Now select this text, right click, and click on Create Outlines. This will change our text into outlines. Then once again, right click, and this time, choose the Ungroup option. Now we can move each letter individually. After that, go to the Layers panel, click the small icon, then click on the hamburger icon and select Release to Layers Sequence. This will convert letters to layers. Now select all the layers and move them out to layer 2. Now you can delete layer 2 because it's empty. After that, save this file and make sure you save it as an Adobe Illustrator file. And that's it. We are ready to animate this logo in After Effects. We're in After Effects, and the first thing I'm going to do is import our Illustrator file that we created before. When you import the file, you will see a pop-up box, and I recommend always choosing Import Kind as Composition, and Footage Dimensions as Layer Size. Alright, after that, I double-click on the composition to open it. First, I delete the background layer because we don't need it. Then I select all the Illustrator layers. Right-click, go to Create, and choose Create Shapes from Vector Layer. It will convert our Illustrator layers into shape layers. And then I'm going to delete the original Illustrator layers. After that, I'm going to animate the letter O first. Because it's easy, and you can understand better when I animate this shape. So I simply click the solar button. So we can focus only on this particular letter. Then I lock the rest of the layers, except the O layer. Next, I select the O layer. Press Y to switch to the anchor point tool. And drag the anchor point to the bottom of the circle. Then I press P on the keyboard to reveal the position property and add three keyframes on the timeline. I go back to the first frame and change the circle's position like this. Then I go to the middle keyframe and change the circle's position like that, so it will animate like this. Then I select all the keyframes and change them to Bezier keyframes. Next, I go to the graph editor and adjust the graph like this. And when I play the animation, you can see how it animates. It's looking a bit slow, so I select all the keyframes and drag them closer to increase the animation speed. After that, I place the playhead at the last keyframe, then open the scale property and add a keyframe. Then I go to the first frame and change the scale values to 0 and 50. I move the time indicator around the middle keyframe and change the scale values to 100%. Let's check the animation. Then move forward a little and add a keyframe. At this point, change the scale value Y to 120 and X to 80. Then, I adjust the scale keyframes to get the desired look. At the last keyframe, set scale to 80 and 120. Then, move forward and change scale to 90 and 110. And at the end, change the values to 100% for both X and Y. Let's adjust its position. 
Nice. Now the bounce looks more interesting. After that, select all the keyframes and easy ease them to make the motion more smooth. Next, select the layer and search Path to reveal the path properties of this layer. You can see there are two paths in the properties, and we need to select the inner path of this circle. So I click on the stopwatch to create a keyframe, then move forward, and add another keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe and double click one of the vertex points to get the bounding box. Then select a corner of this box, hold shift and cuddle, and scale down like this. Do it precisely so it's completely hidden. Now, if I play the animation, you can see how it animates. So we've successfully animated our O letter in After Effects, and now I'm going to show you how to animate another letter so you understand better. Now I'm going to show you how you animate the letter C with the same technique. First, I select the letter C, and once again, I change its anchor point to the bottom. I solo this layer and lock all the layers except layer C. Then I go to the first frame, open its position property and create three keyframes. I go to the first frame and change its position. Then I go to the second keyframe and change its position. Next I select all the keyframes and easy ease them. Then I go to the graph editor and change the graph like this. Now it's moving like our letter O. Now it's the important part. I'm unlocking the O layer. Open its scale property and copying the scale keyframes from here. Then I select layer C. Open its scale property and paste the keyframes. This way we save animation time and also get the exact bouncing effect on our letter C. Now we want to create a ball shape with this letter C, but as you can see, the letter C is not like the letter O. So how do we make it? Let me show you. First, deselect everything, then choose the ellipse tool. Turn off stroke. Turn on fill. Then create a circle that covers the letter C. Then rename this layer as CR. Then I parent this layer to the C outline layer. So the ellipse moves with the C letter. Now select the CR layer, then select the ellipse tool, but this time click on this icon. That creates a mask on the shape layer. Next, carefully create a circular mask like this. Then open the mask properties, click the stopwatch to create a keyframe, then move forward a bit and create one more keyframe. Go back to the first frame, double click one of the mask's vertex points, then hold shift and quattro and scale down this mask. Do it precisely so it's hidden completely. If you play the animation, you can see how it looks. Now go to the mask properties and change its mode from add to subtract. So it will animate like our O letter. Now you understand the concept of bouncing text animation. To save time, I'm going to animate each letter with the same technique used for letters O and C. And then I'll come back to show you how I combine all the individual letters together. I've animated all four letters except U and N, because those are not perfect candidates for the bouncing animation technique. So I will animate them differently. First, I'm going to add a null object to the timeline and place it between letters B and O. Then rename this null layer as BO controller. After that, I select the B and O layers and parent them to the BO controller. So we can move both letters together while the animation stays the same. Then I duplicate this controller layer, place it between the C and E letters, and rename this layer as CE controller. Then I select the C and E layers and parent them to the CE controller like this. After that, 
I select both controller layers, open the position properties and add a keyframe. Then I move forward a bit and add another keyframe. I go back to the first keyframe and change the letters positions like this. Let me hide the layer U and N so you can understand better. Then I move the keyframes forward a little bit. After that, I arrange layers in sequence so letter B comes into the frame first and then the rest of the letters come in one by one like this. This gives us a bouncy animation sequence. After that, I select the controller layers, open their position properties, and adjust the keyframes according to our letters movement. Then I select all the keyframes and easy ease them. Then I open the graph editor and change the graph like this, so it looks more dynamic. Let's animate the N and U letters. First, then I solo the U layer and lock all other layers. Then I select the pen tool and change the stroke color. Then I start drawing a line on the U letter like this. Make sure you cover everything. Then I go to the first frame and rename this layer as UR, open its properties, and add a trim path to this layer. Then I change the end value to zero and add a keyframe, move forward, and change end value to 100. After that, I select all the keyframes and easy ease them. Then I open the graph editor and change the graph like this. Then I unsolo this layer. Then I scrub the timeline where letters moving sideways, then move forward the UR layer. Next, click toggle switches to turn on the track matte options. Next, unlock the U layer and change its track matte to the UR layer. Now it's revealed like this. I will do the same reveal animation with the N layer. Now I've animated both letters with the same reveal technique, and here is the final result. That's how you can create a bouncing logo animation in After Effects. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.